A very warm welcome once again to Durham Cathedral today for this service of midday prayer. This service forms, forms part of our online quiet day, a day reflecting on the life and witness and inspiration of St Cuthbert. We hope very much that you are finding the day a fruitful time and a reflective time. We've enjoyed this morning a wonderful reflection from Sarah Hills, the incumbent on Lindisfarne, who has been talking us through something of St Cuthbert's life in that place. We will hear later this afternoon of St Cuthbert's journey after his death and of his inspiration to many pilgrims and so many followers of Christ today. This service of midday prayer is very short, deliberately so. It's an opportunity to pause in the busyness of the day to day, an opportunity to enjoy some silence and to reconnect ourselves with the presence of God in all that we are and in all that we do. You don't need a book to follow it. You can simply relax and be part of the prayer itself. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord. Give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. A reading from the Gospel according to St John. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. So in the quiet of this holy place, let us pause, let us take time to be refreshed and to be renewed, to gaze in awe and wonder at the beauty of the world around us, to remember our role in being wise stewards of God's creation. Let us take a moment to give thanks for the people we have connected with so far today. Let us give thanks for all that we have seen and heard, for God's presence revealed along the way. And as we reflect on the life of St Cuthbert, giving thanks for his ability to draw us closer to the heart of God, for his ability to encourage others on the way of faith, for his ability to glimpse the world through God's eyes rather than just through his own. So we commend to God our thoughts and our reflections and our prayers today. That our thoughts and our hearts may be stirred afresh within us. That our vocation as disciples may be rekindled. That we too may seek to be Christ's light in the dark places of this world. To be attentive to the wonder and joy that is around us. And so we take a few moments of quiet in the presence of this place, only a few footsteps away from the shrine of St Cuthbert himself, to commend ourselves to the peace of God as we journey through this quiet day.
Almighty God, who called your servant Cuthbert from following the flock to follow your son and to be a shepherd of your people. In your mercy grant that we, following his example, may bring those who are lost home to your fold. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. May God bless us and show us compassion and mercy. Amen. Thank you for joining us in a rather blustery Durham for this brief pause in the day. This is an opportunity to enter once more into our quiet day. And we invite you to join Canon Simon Oliver at half past three this afternoon, where he will give a reflection from the Shrine of St Cuthbert as we reflect and continue to reflect on St Cuthbert's life and inspiration. We wish you every blessing for the afternoon ahead. <laughs>